Fivetran is the market leader in automated data integration. So we provide ready-to-use connectors that adapt as schemas and APIs change to ensure reliable data access. The fundamental mission of Fivetran is to make access to data as simple and reliable as electricity. So that is the North Star. That's what we're working towards, unlocking all of the enterprise value that you have across all of the different data sources in your company and then having that available to analyze. So a bit of background and context into the business. So some more about Fivetran. So founded in 2012, we just have over 350 employees and we've just reached the 1,000 plus customer mark. Some of the key investors you'll see, Andreessen Horowitz, Matrix Partners. We've just received Series C funding in, in July, which is really funding our international growth efforts. And then you'll see some of notable customers that we have on the right-hand side who've worked with us in order for them to centralize and automate their, their data setup so they can analyze their data better. So what is the problem that Fivetran is solving for? So the problem is centralizing data. And it's a legacy problem that has been around for 30 years, ever since the genesis of databases. So as we've grown over time, we've seen the rise of cloud-based modern data warehouses, giving companies full and compute power to their analytics setup and stack. So this is the fundamental problem that this has given rise to. So you'll see on the left-hand side, all of the operational systems that businesses would run across all of the different functional areas and use cases. You'll see a CRM platform, a service desk platform, a core platform database, a financial system. So there's customer data residing in all of these operational systems. And it's, a, it's an acute business challenge to extract that and then to provide a holistic view of their end customer across all of these systems through one common source of truth. So the problem is extracting the data from all of those different systems, loading it into a modern data warehouse where there's significant compute power in order to run pretty heavy duty analytics. And then ultimately to run things like internal analytics through business intelligence tools like Looker and Tableau, who Fivetron partner very closely with, through things like data sharing. So enabling your, your business to be data driven and having access across the company to, to data sets that you want. Then there's other use cases like data products and AI. So if you have an, if you are building, if you have an AI product and you would like to extract information from your endpoints or the end clients systems, we can white label Fivetran and help you do that. And then ultimately as well for operational systems. To dig one level deeper, the problem then exists in extracting the data. And traditional approaches to ETL or extract, transform, and load have become too labor intensive and brittle. So we've mapped out what the ETL process looks like here on the screen. And as you can see, it actually comprises a lot of different things for what is essentially one business challenge. So you'll see that in order to connect a source system to a data warehouse, there's six steps. First is an API call. Second is you have to design the schema, write the CSV prepare the destination for load, normalize the data, load it into the warehouse, and then finally to merge that with, with SQL in order for you to run some queries. So there's obviously a lot that can go wrong in this process. It takes a lot of time. It's very brittle. These things can change when APIs change or when schemas change. And this is a legacy issue. So we know that in the past, there's been fragmented approaches across, across the business, giving rise to data silos. But there's no real single clear winner. So we can see that there's many different use cases for your data across all of your different operational systems. And you'll see them mapped out here. And it's not threaded or knitted together in any way. So you'll see that maybe some subset of your data is going to a data warehouse for analytics or for AI ML. There's, there's automation behind that. Then let's say for your production systems, there's custom code extracting customer data, financial data in your internal analytics, your BI tool, and there's, there's federated queries across all of these uh, operational systems. Let's say if you have an AI or an ML aspect, 
to your business or to your one of your, your products. Extracting data into a data lake that sits on, so on top of that is, is again another use case. And then also for data sharing. So if, if you want a board report, you would need a CSV file of all of the, the data that's coming from all of your operation systems. So clearly that's not sustainable. There needs to be more automation involved in this process because that can become very challenging to sustain. So what is the solution? So Fivetran, we think about changing ETL and introducing the concept of ELT, and I'll go into that in a bit more detail later. But to give you an understanding, Fivetran provide pre-built automated connectors. And there's three reasons why that's incredibly important in extracting and loading data from source to destination. First of all, Fivetran is automated. So we create and maintain a perfect replica of your data. So we think about transformations should be post-load, uh, taking advantage of the compute power of your data warehouse and having the ability to, to have that full understanding of, of your data through a perfect replica. Um, and that's obviously, there's minimal user intervention in that. So introducing automation into that process means you don't have to re-engineer pipelines if they break down, it just works. Secondly is, is data resiliency, which is incredibly important for, for companies. We have an idempotent core architecture that makes Fivetran very re resilient and, and possible for devs all of the <clears throat> excuse me all of the world to write these high quality connectors. And then thirdly, we're deployed in the cloud. We're cloud born, cloud native. Um, we're constantly monitoring and fixing our code as sources change. So as I mentioned, there's a distinct difference in methodology and philosophy and how we think about uh, this process. So you'll see on the left hand side is the classic or legacy ETL process in that you would extract data from applications, files, events, and, and other, other sources. You would transform that preload. So you take a subset of your data, then load it into the data warehouse, ultimately for visualization in a BI tool. Now, that is inefficient because we believe there's too much customization involved in that process. It's too much transformation preload. So you're not getting access to all of your data so that you can then start to visualize it across all of this, the source systems. So obviously with the proliferation of these cloud-based data warehouses, we have the ability to go to this more modern data stack setup and, and change it to an extract, load and transform way of, of extracting data. So you'll see on the right-hand side, extracting all of the data from all of your sources, loading it into your data warehouse in, a, in an exact replica, transforming it within the warehouse, and then visualization uh, is done through your, your BI tool of choice. So as you can see, uh, you have access to much more data. Uh, there's much more querying power, compute power behind that in order for you to get a much better understanding and holistic view of your data across all of these systems. So that's how we think about automated data integration. So what does the future hold then for things like uh, Fivetran and, and data centralization? So this is how we would, we would see the future for data-driven appla applications. So providing that single stable foundation to extract, load, and transform your data across all of your different operational systems through a fully managed automated and zero maintenance connector. So this is how we envisage analytics in the future and, and how it will become most efficient for businesses. So you'll see we'll have all of your source systems at the bottom, Fivetran as the ELT layer, extracting and loading that data into your warehouse of choice so that you can then use all of this data for any different use case that you require. So instead of ha having it federated, there's one single source, uh, one single layer allowing you to do all of this. So whether it be data warehouses, whether it be production systems, internal analytics, or BI, uh, any AI applications, or indeed data sharing. So now we have access to a perfect replica of all of your data that's consistently and automatically updating as schemas change and APIs change so that you can use your data for any of these different use cases. So. That's Fivetran, how we think about uh, how we think about automated data integration. Now I'd like to show you for the remaining five minutes of exactly what I was speaking about. So to give you an understanding of 
the Fivetran UI. So I'll just log into my account now. So this is a overview of the Fivetran user interface. So the first thing that you would do is you would connect your data warehouse. In this case, it's a Snowflake account that I've connected to this demo environment. Once that's connected, I can then start to look at what connectors that I want to add in. So we have 150 plus pre-built connectors across many different functional areas of a business. And, and you can have a look whether it be applications like Facebook ads, whether it be uh, file storage, like an S3 bucket or a GCS bucket, all the way through to databases. So we, we can provide uh, a link or a connection from a database into your data warehouse to fully start to visualize uh, that data in, in a much more robust way. So just to give you an example of, of a pre-built connector for an application that we support. So let's say take a Salesforce account, we authorize that through, through API. I'm currently logged in to my Salesforce account. So this should authenticate, that's all authenticated now. We have full setup guide on the right hand side showing you how to actually set up Salesforce. Can now save and test. So that's going to connect to the API. It's going to pull across all of my data, my, my schemas, my, my tables and my columns to help me understand which tables, columns and schemas that I want to bring across into my data warehouse. So I can select, deselect, I can block or I can hash columns also. So just to take a few moments to extract that data. And once that's done, all the connection tests are passed. I can now view the connector and I can start to select the data that I want to sync into my destination. So I review my schema. It's going to fetch all of the data schema from, from Salesforce. There'd be account, lead, opportunity, contact records, and so on and so forth. So you can select, deselect um, the tables that you want to bring across. Save and continue. So I want to bring across an exact replica of all of my Salesforce data. And um, once I select start initial sync, that will start the initial historical sync of all of the, the data and then start to load that into my data warehouse. Now also we have a sync frequency, so you can, any new or changed data, we have incremental batch updates. So you can sync that at a time frequency of your choice, and that's av available in the setup feature here. So there's sync frequency bar, so you can have it as seldom as 24 hours or as, as quickly as every five minutes. We have full documentation on all of our connectors available at fivetran.com. We have full overview of our schema diagrams too through an entity relationship diagram map. So you can see exactly the format of which the schema will, will come across for analytics purposes. And they're available to view for all of our connectors on, as I said, on fivetran.com. And then just to show you as well, we do offer a transformation within the Fivetran user interface. So we can have a connection with DBT, data build tool, which a lot of companies are using and an outsource, an outsource platform in order for you to run transformations on your data. So we can sync with your Git repository for that. We also have native DBT packages for all of our connectors as well. So allowing you to, to, to run transformations uh, post load uh, through the Fivetran UI to make it much easier for and, and, and simpler for you. We also have an, a logging uh, service, so you can log to any one of your logging services that you would use. We have a native Fivetran logging service as well. So that is a whistle-stop tour of, of Fivetran, how we work, how we operate, how we think about automated data integration and centralization. I'd be very keen to understand some of your own specific business challenges and, and also outline where Fivetran can help. As I said, I covered the Israeli territory here at Fivetran and hopefully allow you to unlock some of these AI ML use cases that you're interested in today. Um, so as I said, I will send across my information to you after the presentation with my email address. Very keen to understand, as I said, uh, more about your business and to help you understand how Fivetran can help. But that's everything for today. Thank you so much for your time and attention. Much appreciated. My name is Aina Kenny, and I will speak to you very, very, very soon. Thanks again.